couple years ago, I did a video on uh, just plowing, just snow plowing, no, no uh, narration or anything. It is pretty boring, but you know what I wanted to highlight was, first of all, how good the general is at snow plowing and utility work. But then the second thing was the plow. And today I thought I'd talk about, you know, I kind of bragged about the general um, during my fall colors ride this year. Um, but uh, I thought I should brag about the KFI plow that we're using. This is a, a Pro Poly plow. And uh, it's, it's a, um, I believe it's a 60 inch plow. Um, I can't remember if it's 60 or 6, I can't remember what size it is. I'll put it on the screen. Anyway, it's a good size plow, and uh, the plow blade itself is uh, poly, obviously. It's plastic. It has a steel, just like every other snow plow, has a steel um, blade on the bottom, and then it's got a rubber uh, flap on the top, kind of like a normal blade. But what sets this apart, first of all, is as an ATV blade, it's quite a bit taller than most blades. Most of the steel blades are shorter. Uh, I think probably the reason they can do that is because of the weight, because they save quite a bit of weight. You know, obviously it's a steel frame, but the, having a, a plow that's polyurethane um, makes the, uh, the weight a little bit less and you can actually uh, carry this. To get this on a general, or any other ATV or UTV for that matter, you need the bracket. So underneath here is uh, the mounting bracket, um, and then, then the rest of the kit attaches to that. So we've got, uh, we've got uh, really three parts to this. One is the blade, one is the, um, this frame here, and then the, the third piece is the bracket. Those are all separate. Um, but then, a few years ago, we were talking to uh, the KFI people at uh, Hades, and uh, they were showing us a brand new set, at that time it was a brand new set of wings for this. That extends this to a foot. So this is actually, I believe, I want to say it's seven feet wide. Seven feet for this, uh, an ATV plow. Um, and uh, that's, that's quite a... That's quite a uh, quite a plow for as high as it is and as wide as it is. This thing really does a good job. Um, it's a very good plow. Um, the other thing uh, this year at Hades, we were talking about, we were lamenting uh, to the to the KFI people about the uh, markers, plow markers, and how they broke. The original ones were just PVC, and uh, they snapped snapped off. It took a couple of years, but they eventually snapped off. They're pretty cheap, and you know it's not a big deal, but we were talking about that and they said, oh, you got to see our new plow markers that have, they're made out of a different material and they have wire inside to keep them uh, from breaking. And so we ordered a set of those. That's what's on here now. So we've got a set of the KFI uh, wings on here. Now they do make a couple different varieties of the wings. Um, this happens to be the angled wings. They make a straight wing. So like if you do a lot of angled plowing, um, we do a bunch of everything, so uh, it doesn't pay for us to have the, the straight uh, wings, if you will. I, we like these angled ones better. But then uh, the, uh, the new plow markers. Um, the other thing that I'll say about uh, K the KFI plows, KFI makes a, a pulley instead of a fair lead. And um, you can see right there, it's a completely different unit. The first year that we got this, we were breaking um, the uh, cable left and right. Every time I would plow, basically, I had to repair. You can see it's kind of frayed there because I've repaired it so many times. So I gotta get a new cable on there. It's getting pretty short. But uh, the point is that uh, that KFI pulley um, really made a difference. Haven't broken the, uh, the cable since. It's starting to look a little rough. I probably need to um, cut a section of it off and redo it there. But um, uh, that is a, uh, that's the only thing about having a plow that would concern me is how, how hard that is on, uh, on the, uh, on the cable with the standard fair lead. In this case, the KFI, uh, pulley, if you want to call it that, is a much better solution. And, uh, 
and that works out really well. So really overall, this has been an excellent plow. We get a lot of, we just got done uh, plowing about a foot of snow and even without chains on, that's the only thing about having the, the general is without chains, you do slip and slide quite a bit. On the other hand, it takes it a little bit easier on the hardware and the drivetrain which is kind of why I don't put uh, chains on it. Anyway, I wanted to show you the KFI plow and, um, and just kind of explain what it is and why we like it so much. Um, the snow does stick to it. It's not supposed to, uh, not supposed to stick to it, but it does a little bit. But um, overall, um, this thing gets a lot done. All right, looks like, looks like we can go snowmobiling today. That's what I'm gonna do next, hopefully. I will see you on the trail.